Hey everyone, welcome to this motion science workshop about grunge typography. My name is Ryan, and today we're going to take a look at how I built some of the textures for the grunge texture pack, and specifically how I took black and white typography, put some effects over top, built a rig, and then animated all of the effects through that rig so that I could build this animation out quickly and easily. It's super fun. I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. And to begin, what I wanna discuss is just the look of this and what we're gonna be building and then what we're gonna be getting into with some of the animation ahead. So this is our look that we're gonna be building today. It's a grunge look, um, a little bit of blurriness. We're gonna distort these frames as much as possible. Um, this is a little intensive on your, your system. So it's not something that you can easily just kind of maneuver from one to the other. Um, so what I want to do in the second part is show you how I set up this rig and was able to create this animation based upon the same technique and the same look. And it was a little bit easier on my system. So I want to show both ways and that way it gives you a good understanding of how to create this. So a fun little typography animation, there's stuff moving, popping, sliding, and the grunge texture pack is being influenced with some of the beginning parts here and this bar that comes in, again, right here. And then also the textures in the background. So we're gonna be doing a lot of grunge today. So let's start laying out a design. All right, so I'm actually here in Illustrator and I wanna show the actual file and how I kind of built this and some easy ways to work between Illustrator and After Effects. Now you can do this in After Effects. I just like to show my workflow to give you as many options as possible and whatever makes sense to you. Sometimes I like working this way in Illustrator because you can lay out artboards and see your entire design in one shot. And that's what this ended up being. So here's my 24 frames. They all can be laid out. I can see one frame to the next to the next, and it just helps me visualize the whole timeline and the whole sequence. So to do that in Illustrator, let's go to File New, set up my artboard, which is gonna be a 4K comp. So 3840-2160, let's do four artboards, that's fine. RGB color, screen of 72 pixels per inch click create and you can see that I have four artboards now in the center of my canvas and everything is ready to rock and roll if you go up here to windows and then artboard you can also get this window here and this is where you can add artboards if you want and then also click this button and you can rearrange all of them so say you want four columns two columns set your spacing set your layout order click OK and it's going to rearrange them very quickly for you I want to go back to three and there you go and I can continually add and then the minute you jump out it'll redo that so just reset go to three back to normal okay let's go back to three and what I did hit T for the type tool typed out hey scaled it up as big as I could that's a little too big Something like that, centered it, aligned it to the center, and then used a font called DIN. So this is DIN 1451 standard Angstreft. There is a ton of DINs available. I believe this one is available online for free. It's one of my favorite DINs and I love using it. So you can see here, this is DIN, 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 DIN. I did introduce the one that we're gonna be doing today is Chaos. So that is a Hoffler text and let's make this big and then align it and align it and select it and then go to Huffler O E and Huffler text black and then set to optical tracking of zero. This should be set to optical as well. It is. Perfect. Let's take this down to maybe like 500 pixels, something like that. You get the gist. 
But what's cool is, all right, so you lay out everything and you lay it out in black and white. Now I have this plugin from Overlord. Let me pull that up real quick. The plugin is called Overlord, but it's from a company called Battle Axe. And they make a few, uh, they make rubber hose. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. They are pretty cool. Make some awesome uh, plugins for After Effects. It is paid, it's $45, but it creates a tunnel between After Effects and Illustrator. Now again, you do not need this. I just wanted to point it out that this was how I created all this stuff. And I wanted to showcase how easy Overlord is sometimes instead of designing frame by frame in After Effects. So it is a vector workflow of salvation and for the first time ever, text and gradients supported. So that means that I have two options in Illustrator. Let's actually jump over to After Effects. Let's create a new composition. Call this grunge typography. 3840, 24 frames a second, two seconds long. We're only creating one still here. And the key with Overlord is you have to have it open in your extension in After Effects. And I have mine tucked away over here in the corner. And you have to have it open in Illustrator as well. So both places, it's Window, Extension, and then Overlord. And I have mine docked because I use it all the time but they just have to be open. You don't have to activate them or anything like that. And then what you can do is take this and push your selection over to After Effects. Let me turn off my transparency and there you go. Exactly how it shows up in Illustrator, it will show up in After Effects. The cool thing is, is you can now still change this type if you want. You can go back. Whoops, let's push this over again. I can right click here and go to create shapes from text and now I can delete my original text and now in here I have contents and there's my letter C, my letter H, all my different letters. So you can animate these individually. If you know in Illustrator that you are set with this, which is how I did my original one here, you can make all of this typography once you love your design. You can expand it. So go to object, expand and you're going to create an object and then fill that object with the color that you have set up in your original type. So if this is red, it's gonna fill it with red. If it's black, white, whatever your color is set at the time, that's what it's going to fill. And now I can kick this over and there you go. It actually gives me separate layers per letter and these are shape layers. So cool ways to work. I just wanted to point that out and uh, you can either design in After Effects or design in Illustrator, but I do love the capability of seeing all my artboards in Illustrator, so that is the route that I took. All right, next video, let's get to designing.